Um, so we're doing our duct tape fun patch today. Um, also our duct tape fashion. Um, it goes by both. Um, but I'll start out by reading um, a little bit about duct tape and I have a whole list of fun facts about duct tape. Um, and if you guys know any fun facts, feel free to type them in in the comments. So the history of duct tape, um, duct is in D-U-C-T, duct tape. Uh, the idea for duct tape came from Vesta Stout, an ordnance factory worker and mother of two Navy sailors who worried that problems with ammunition box seals would cost soldiers precious time in battle. The new unnamed product was made of thin cotton duck, duck is in D-U-C-K, coated in waterproof polyethylene, or plastic, with a layer of rubber-based gray adhesive, branded as polycoat, bonded to one side. It was easy to apply and remove and was soon adapted to repair military equipment quickly, including vehicles and weapons. This tape, colored in Army Standard Matte Olive Drab, was nicknamed duck tape, as in D-U-C-K, by the soldiers. Various theories have been put forward for the nickname, including the descendant relation to cotton duck, D-U-C-K, fabric, the waterproof, and the waterproof characteristics of a duck bird. So it was nicknamed duct tape originally, actually D-U-C-K, um, because it was waterproof, just like a duck is waterproof. You see the water roll off of the duck's back. And even the name of the 1942 amphibious military vehicle, D-U-K-W, which was pronounced duck. Um, so there is some um, argument over what the original name was and where it came from. But if anyone's ever t told you it's pronounced duct tape and not duct tape, as in D-U-C-K, um, they actually are kind of wrong, because uh, it was originally called duct tape, as in quack quack, a duck. <laughs> okay, so some common uses for duct tape include repairing duct work, um, which is actually something that you shouldn't do. We'll get into that later. Uh, a space flight tool military usage, fixing cell phones or anything broken, and much more. So in this uh, patch program, again, we're going to discover, connect, and take action, as we always do. To discover, we're going to learn about the characteristics of duct tape and why it would make a good material for a piece of jewelry, dress, or wallet. So I'll go through some fun facts about duct tape, but again, feel free to comment um, anything that you know, any fun facts you might know about duct tape. And then we'll connect. So our connect here says find some items of yours that you wear or carry that could use some duct tape to fix them or even just brighten them up. So I have with me um, a broken flip flop, which happens to me pretty often. So I'm going to have you guys help me fix that, give me some of your ideas for fixing that. Um, and when we're done, if you have anything in your house that could either be fixed with duct tape um, or if you have colored duct tape um, that you can brighten up a notebook or something with, um, you can do that. Um, we're also going to be making uh, a little thing for the end of your pencil, um, so you can qualify that as um, decorating something that you use. And then the last step is to take action. On the sheet, it originally says make your own duct tape necklace, um, but that actually required um, like patterned duct tape. Um, and I didn't think that a lot of people would have like colored or patterned duct tape. I think most people had just the plain gray. Um, so I've swapped that out for a few different activities. Um, so if you don't have enough duct tape for all of them or one of them, um, you can pick and choose which one you want. Um, the first one we're going to be making, uh, it was originally a duct tape wallet, um, but I know some people might not have a ton of duct tape, so we're going to make a little duct tape change purse. Um, I've made an example right here, so I'll show you how to make that. Um, and then we're going to make two different types of duct tape flowers that you can put at the end of a pencil. Um, so you can pick and choose. You can do all three. You can do uh, just pick one of them. Um, whatever works for you, whatever amount of duct tape that you have. So um, we're going to get started with um, some fun facts about duct tape um, and some of the different characteristics of duct tape. Um, so before I go into the fun facts and the history, um, can we type in any... Um, any qualities about duct tape or characteristics about duct tape that you already know? Do 
And again, you guys are a little behind. There's a little delay from when I'm actually talking to when you're seeing it. Um, so it might take a second here. It's sticky. Yes, definitely. It comes in different patterns. Yep, yep. I see somebody said cheetah print. It's tough, but it's actually easy to tear. Absolutely. It's strong. Yep, that tape is very, very strong. Very sticky. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's typing in very sticky. Strong and sticky. You can fix anything. Held together by fibers. I actually don't know. That might be that might be true. Then you can tear it without scissors. Absolutely. NASCAR uses it. Good to know. Somebody said they made a hat out of duct tape before. Very cool. You can fix things and it's strong. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so I will start reading some of the fun facts and then we can um, talk a little bit about different things that you can make with duct tape. Um, so, like I said before, the, the name duct tape was originally duct tape, D-U-C-K, not D-U-C-T. Um, since its origin, the tape has consisted of three major components. A bottom layer of glue, mesh fabric, and polyethylene plastic coating on top to keep it water resistant. So water resistant is another um, characteristic of duct tape. According to Johnson & Johnson, soldiers named the material duct tape, D-U-C-K, in reference to its ability to repel moisture like water off a duck's back. Um, so if anyone's ever told you that it's not duct tape, it's duct tape, um, it actually was originally duct tape, D-U-C-K. Um, it owes stickiness to physics. So while many adhesives, like Elmer's glue, need to undergo a physical change in order to stick to something, Duct tape works a little differently. Its stickiness is created by a pressure-sensitive adhesive, or PSA, which is a soft polymer blend that em employs van der Waals forces to attract two surfaces. These intermolecular forces are weak on their own, but with enough of them, they are capable of supporting very heavy loads. And it says this is the same principle that allows geckos to stick to walls. Very, very interesting. What else? You actually can't use it on ducks. So if, if you've ever been in your basement and you look up and you see the round or square um, like tubes running through the ceiling, those are ducts, D-U-C-T. Um, and following World War, World War II, duct tape began to catch on in the U.S. as a handy tool for home construction. People were using it to hold metal air ducts together, so the company rebranded the product as duct tape, D-U-C-T, and updated it with a matching silver color made from powdered aluminum. Today, its namesake usage is one of the few things that duct tape isn't recommended for. Um, and my dad is actually a building inspector, and he can attest to that, um, that you're not allowed to use duct tape to fix ducts, um, even though it is still called duct tape. Um, and there were some experiments done on that that it, it really failed miserably when being used to repair ducks. Um, the next fun fact I have is that duct tape helped save Apollo 13. Um, so if you know Apollo 13 from NASA, the a spaceship, hopefully I have that right. Someone said you can stop leaks with duct tape. We're going to talk about that right now. So following an explosion aboard the ship's service module, the three members of the Apollo 13 crew transferred to a lunar module designed to hold two people for 36 hours. They had to find a way to last more than twice that long, and the biggest threat to their survival was the carbon dioxide being created by their own bodies. While they had plenty of square carbon dioxide filters on board, they were incompatible with the lunar module's round holes. Engineers at NASA devised a solution that involved using cardboard, plastic bags, spacesuit components, and duct tape, that was kept on board to create an adapter that would filter out carbon dioxide. This hack ultimately saved the astronauts' lives. And this wasn't the only time duct tape proved to be useful in outer space. 
The chafe has been stowed on board every NASA mission since the early Gemini era. Some of its handy applications include making emergency recover repairs, fixing leaky pipes, and keeping items secure in zero gravity. Um, and if anyone's curious, all of this, all of these facts are coming from mentalfloss.com. Uh, that's where I found all these new facts um, about duct tape. Um, so it was actually used on board NASA, and it's still used and carried on spaceships. Um, the next one is it has been used to prevent infection. So hospital-acquired infections account for 99,000 preventable deaths in the U.S. each year. In order to safely fight infection while saving doctors time and effort, the Trinity Medical Center System of Hospitals in the Midwest came up with a rather simple solution. They used duct tape to mark a three-foot square safe zone extending from the doorway into a patient's room. This allowed physicians to casually converse with their patients without having to change into full sterile gear every time they wanted to check in. Research shows that the duct tape idea saved the hospital some $110,000 a year and 27,000 hours of staff time. Very interesting. Lots and lots of uses. Um, there's a little thing, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Mythbusters. Um, I don't know if it's still on. Um, but they would test myths to see if they were true or not. Um, so they had three entire episodes to exploring some of duct tape's most extreme applications. The team was able to successfully use duct tape to patch a damaged airplane fuselage, construct a functioning cannon, build a usable bridge, and lift a 5,000 pound car. Uh, of the 18 myths they tested, only one was busted. Um, which is that you can't use duct tape to barricade a car that's driving 60 miles per hour. Um, so duct tape is very strong, um, but not uh, quite strong enough to stop a car going 60 miles per hour. Um, the next one is that there is an annual duct tape festival. Um, since 2005, Avon, Ohio has hosted an annual duct tape festival dedicated to celebrating duct tape, its enthusiasts, and its wacky and fun uses. The event features duct tape sculptures, a duct tape fashion show, and a parade of giant floats constructed using duct tape. Um, so if anybody um, finds this super interesting and wants to go to the duct tape festival, um, I'm sure you can find more information about that. Um, the next one is there is duct tape to suit every need. Um, so special varieties of duct tape include double-sided duct tape, glow-in-the-dark duct tape, duct tape and nuclear grade duct tape, um, which is certified for use in nuclear power plants. So lots of things that I never knew about duct tape. Very, very interesting. Um, the last one um, is that wearing duct tape to prom could earn you a scholarship. Um, so this one says that the duct tape brand offers a rather unusual scholarship to high schoolers who are willing to get creative with their product. Every prom season, they call upon students to design and create their own suits and dresses for the big day using duct tape. The winning couple of the Stuck It Prom competition is awarded $10,000 scholarship each, along with an additional $5,000 for their high school. Um, I don't know if they're still doing that, um, but they have done it in the past, which is super cool. Um, but you can make an entire um, dress or suit out of duct tape. Uh, and while I was researching different activities and crafts that you could do with duct tape, there are so many. Um, it's crazy how many um, different activities you can do with duct tape and make with duct tape. Um, so I hope you all found that um, interesting. Um, I definitely didn't know. I don't think I knew any of those things ahead of time. Um, the only one I think I knew was that it can't be used on ducks, um, but that's because my dad is a inspector, um, so I knew that. But other than that, all of that is news to me. So very interesting, the uh, history of duct tape. Um, so now that we've gone over a little bit of it, um, if you guys could type in the comments um, some things that you could make out of duct tape, knowing that it's durable, it's sticky, it's strong, um, either things that you can make or things that you could fix with it. Um, give me some ideas in the comments. I see a lot of people saying, wow, that's crazy. Oh, somebody says they have flower duct tape. Pretty pretty. You can make shoes or a hat or a purse 
Yeah, definitely a purse. I've actually seen that online and people make purses out of duct tape. Shoes. I have seen shoes too. That seems like it would be really hard. Um, but they are waterproof. A bookmark. Yeah, absolutely. A necklace or bracelet. Yep. Um, if you get this printout off our website, um, gswpa.org, you can see it. Uh, the duct tape one. Um, on the last page, there is instructions on how to make um, a necklace out of duct tape, um, if you're interested in doing that. Um, but you do need straws um, and, like, fishing wire or string to put them on. Um, but if you have that stuff, feel free. Someone said they have the same hydro flask I'm thinking of. You could use it to fix. I've actually used duct tape before to fix um, a water bottle that had a leak in the bottom. I just put a piece of duct tape on it and it sealed it right up. You can make a hat. Yep, absolutely. A belt. Yep, I see belts too. Creative. Ooh, a sculpture. Yeah, I think you could absolutely make a sculpture out of duct tape. Keychains. Oh, that's a good idea. And phone cases. That would be super fun. Um, and we won't be doing that today, but I did see, like, if you Google duct tape uh, activities online, there's tons all of different crafts you can make from duct tape. Phone cases, good one. Earrings, yeah. All awesome ideas. A stuffed animal. I bet you could. Bird houses. Very good ideas, you guys. Um, so with that, I think you guys got the idea of duct tape, what it can be used for, what, it, what its qualities and characteristics are. Um, so let's get started on our... Oh. I'm sorry, before we get started on our first craft, um, I need some help fixing my flip-flop, um, which is broken. Um, does anyone have any ideas um, of what I can do? Some more ideas for you. I need to make toys, a bowl, patch a hole. Abstract art. <laughs> Somebody said everything. Yes, we can make everything out of duct tape. He said I put it on the back of paper because I don't have a laminator. These are engineers out there. Put tape on the bottom. You can tape it on the bottom. Put it through the middle. Put the piece through and tape the bottom. Oh, someone said you could fix this with a sandwich bag clip. So I'm actually going to take that idea um, and see if I can make. Let me use my gray tape. If I can make um, something a similar shape to like a bag clip. duct tape around here. Yes, put tape around the bottom so it's bigger so it can't put three. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, so I'm going to take some duct tape. Oh, I'm almost out of gray. Uh, and this can rip easily, but I'm using scissors just in case. Um, so I can see on the other side of my flip-flop, um, right here, I'm going to try to mimic that shape um, right here. Okay, I wrapped it around. Um, I'm going to take another piece of duct tape. Is 
So I don't want it to go in too deep because I want my toe to still fit through here. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. So I made a little circle and I'm going to tape this on the bottom here. So it all sticks together. It's pretty strong there. I think that'll work. Pretty flat on the bottom. Have that little hole, I can stick it in there. Nice! Thanks, guys! I think that worked out pretty good. Okay, so now on to the fun part, the part that we've all been waiting for, which is our duct tape crafts. Um, so, I'm going to make like a little change purse. Um, if you would rather make something larger, like a full fledged wallet with pockets, um, they have all kinds of tutorials on YouTube. That's where I found how to make this. Um, but I'm going to start with the change purse just because I know a lot of people don't have a ton of duct tape um, laying around. So we're just going to make a little um, light change pouch. But I'm going to make it big enough. I have my library card here. Um, so I'm going to make it big enough uh, that it fits uh, my library card. So um, I want it to be, I'm going to end up folding it in half. The first thing we're going to do is make like a sheet of duct tape. Um, and I'm going to end up folding it in half to get this shape. Um, so I want to make it, I have a Barnes & Noble gift card as well. Um, so I want to make it um, long enough so that um, when I fold it over, it'll be able to fit the card. So it's going to be two, if that makes sense, since we're folding it in half. So I want the length to be two of these um, and the width to be one. So I'm going to put these down. There we go. I'll put them here so you guys can see. Um, I'm just going to use this to measure. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm going to make it about um, two long and one wide. So hopefully, as I'm doing it, you'll see it a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to be putting this, um, the duct tape on this. I have like a table mat. Um, so as long as you can stick it down and unstick it, um, that works. I know some people use um, like plastic wrap too to unstick it, um, but I find it easier just on a flat um, sur surface that you can remove it from. So um, let's start. Let me make sure you guys can see. So I want to make sure the width is about as wide um, as. Oh, there we go. I'm going to make sure it's about as wide um, as one card. Um, maybe a little bit wider, um, just so we're not cutting it too close. Um, and you can rip it, uh, but I like scissors better. Sometimes you get those like stringy things that come off. Um, let me make sure you guys can see. Um, so I'm making it about as wide as one of these. Um, so I'll just follow that. And then I want to make it about two deep. So you're going to put your first piece of duct tape down about the width of a credit card. And you're going to take another piece about the same length. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be adjusting it. Um, and then you're going to layer it so that it's slightly over. Let's see if I can move this in. Um, I want to layer it just so that it's a little bit over the other piece so it's all one connected piece in the end. So I don't want to put it um, all the way down here. I want it to be at least touching it. Um, I'd say like a quarter to a half, a half an inch. And about, they're about the same width, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Until I get that um, length that I want. I want it to be two, and then I want it to be one long. Just going to see if anyone um, has any questions in the comments. Feel free to type them in. Um, if anyone has any more fun facts or um, things that they've made out of duct tape, 
that they could share. Feel free to share those. So it looks like I'm about two deep. It only took me three pieces of duct tape. So I'm going to go ahead and unstick it. That's a lovely sound. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the same thing um, on the other side. So I'm kind of making one sheet um, of duct tape material, if that makes sense. Just checking because my comments seem to have stopped. So again, about the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Bigger, bigger scissors. Try to get that close. Uh, but again, not perfect. To come back. Oh, Tia. Hi, Tia. I'm guessing people aren't typing in because they are busy making their duct tape craft. So I, ha I do have some pieces uh, sticking out, um, but that's okay because we're actually going to cut it um, to the shape that we want. Um, but right now you should have um, kind of like a sheet of duct tape um, that's not sticky on either side. The sticky part should be stuck together. Um, and if you've worked with duct tape before, you know that's not coming unstuck. Oh, and you don't have to use all the same color. Feel free to use as many colors, patterns that you would like. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I still keep it um, about the length that I want um, and width that I want. Um, again, I want a width of one card and a length of two cards. Um, so I'm going to cut off any pieces, um, like any sticky pieces that are still sticking out. Um, and this is where you might want to use your ruler um, to get like a straighter edge um, or to measure. Uh, but again, you don't have to. I'm just kind of doing it by eye. And you can cut here too, um, just to get that little bit of sticky off. And cut all the way around. Stick in my scissors. Oh yeah, you can pause the video too, so if, if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause and come back. So I've stuck um, two sides together and cut all the way around um, and I've made like a sheet of duct tape fabric, I guess you could call it. Um, so I'll give you guys um, a minute or two. To get that. Um, I'm going to make sure my measurements are still good here. It's actually a little bigger than I needed. But that's good for me. Um, I'm making it so that I can uh, fit cards in there too. Um, but if you want to make it so that you can fit a dollar bill, you would just have to make it um, so that the length here is the length of a dollar bill. Okay. 
Okay. Um, and now I want to just, you don't, I guess this part is optional, um, but you want to uh, round out the edges here. So I'm going to take a piece of duct tape about my width. It's about the width. And I'm going to cut it um, down the middle because um, I don't need it to be quite that big. It's very sticky. Two um, thinner pieces here. And then I'm going to put it half on the edge here. And I'm just going to fold it over. Um, so I have a nice straight edge. And I'm going to do the same with my other piece of tape on the other side. Again, mine's not perfect. Um, there's a little piece sticking out here, but um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just fold that over. Um, and then, if you have any extra sticking off the side, um, you can go ahead and cut it. Have a nice smooth edge um, on either side. I'm going to fold it in half. Um, so if you have do two different color duct tapes, you might have um, one pattern on one side and a different pattern on the other. Um, and whatever pattern you want on the inside, you're going to fold in. I'm just going to fold it in half like this. I'm going to take another piece of duct tape, um, and this one only has to be um, enough to cover this edge here, so about that length or the length of the side of the credit card. Um, and it's okay if it's a little longer because we're just going to cut off the excess. Um, so I'd say go a little longer um, than you think you need because you're just cut Fold it in half. Oh, I'm actually going to cut this in half because I don't think I need a whole really big piece. I'm just sticking them on the edge of my table here. Folding in half the um, two ends that I already duct taped. Fold it in half. And then I'm going to take um, in the one piece of half of a piece of duct tape and put it on the edge here. Uh, but I only want to put it about halfway because I'm going to fold it over. Take that edge down like this. And again, we're going to cut this off so it doesn't have to be perfect. Take the other half of the piece of duct tape. And we'll put half on one side. So that it looks like this. And I'm going to fold it over. We got like a nice seal there. 
and we're going to cut the excess off of either side. a little bit sticking out on the edge, so I'm just going to fold that over. And then just come up on the excess sticky parts. And we have a nice little change pouch um, that should fit my credit cards very nicely. Put my gift cards or my credit cards in there, maybe some change. Um, if you fold a dollar bill in half, it should probably fit in there too. Um, so I've made a little change purse out of duct tape, um, and it's waterproof and it's durable. Um, that I can, I know some people, if you just have gray duct tape, I said to bring stickers. Um, so feel free to decorate it with stickers if you like. Um, but if you have colored duct tape, just this works too, um, however you want to decorate it. Um, so pretty simple, pretty easy, just a nice little duct tape pouch. Um, and again, they have tons of tutorials on YouTube uh, if you want to make a whole duct tape wallet with pockets and everything. Um, but I figured for the time being, we'll start off with our little duct tape change purse. Everyone doing okay? Look into the comments. Um, let me know how it went. How's it going? on to our next um, craft. I'm going to put my library card and my Barnes & Noble gift card um, in my pouch. I can put that in my purse. Very cute. Ooh. I think I do have stickers somewhere, so I'll have to delete that later. Okay, so the next um, activity I have if you didn't want to do that activity or didn't have too much duct tape um, is two quick um, like flowers that you can put at the end of your pencil to decorate your pencil. Oh, somebody said they did it. Yay, good job. Okay, so um, for this one, I just need little tiny pieces of duct tape um, as long as they are longer than they are wide. And that's perfect. So I'm going to take about maybe like an inch or two inches in length. Let's go with two inches. Oh, somebody said I'm going too fast. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, feel free to um, pause and rewind um, if you need some more uh, time. Um, so we have a little piece of duct tape. We're going to Fold it over in a triangle, Ooh. like so. I'll show you when I'm done. Um, so you're going to fold it over in a triangle, but you want to leave um, a little piece of um, sticky part um, still open. Um, so you just folded it over into a triangle, and then I'm going to fold it over again. So Uh, looks like this. Um, so I'll show you that again before I move on to the next step. Oh, I have Girl Scouts posting. Um, don't worry about keeping up. We'll have this video posted um, after the live. So if you um, didn't quite, couldn't quite keep up, um, what, as soon as as soon as the live is over, you can go back um, and find uh, where you left off. Stop and pause as you go um, as you need. Um, so sorry about going so fast, um, but it will be posted after if you need some more time. Um, 
take another piece. Let's see if I can show you this way. So I'm gonna make a triangle. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit of sticky part facing and then fold over the other direction. So we're gonna make the triangle. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of like this. Um, and then you're gonna take the end of a pen, a pencil. I'm gonna use my first triangle. I'm gonna wrap it around um, with this sticky part around the end. That I have looks kind of like a petal um, sticking out. And I'm just going to keep doing that over and over again. So I have my second one. I'm going to put it on the opposite side. Wrap it around. So now I have two looks like two little petals. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing that over and over again. Um, so I already have one started. So I'm going to keep going with this one. Um, this one is with the pencil. Um, so you can see the eraser on the inside there. Um, and I'm going to just keep doing that over and over. I'll do a couple more. Um, but for time's sake, we won't, we won't do the whole thing. I'll just show you um, a couple. And then uh, once we're done, if you want to keep building on it, you can absolutely do that. And then I can actually cut a bunch uh, first. That'll be easier. Um, if anyone is still working on the change purse um, and has questions, feel free to type them in now um, or questions about this activity um, and I can try to answer. Sharper scissors. Right, looks like everybody's liking it. Okay. I'm going to keep making my triangles. And don't have to be perfect, just so I have kind of a pointed tip that I can make into a petal. I want to try to find like an open gap. You see uh, the gaps in between, and which I put one here. Here we go. Make a triangle, leaving a little bit of sticky. Fold it over the opposite way. So I have a little triangle. And just keep doing that over and over again. If you have different colors, um, that's awesome. Thank you. 
be a little small. This one could still have some part on it that I can wrap around. So this one seems like it's going to take um, a while. Um, so we won't go through the whole thing just for time's sake. Um, we have 7.20, so we have about 10 minutes left. So I think this would be really fun if we had a bunch of different colors. Um, but this is what I have so far. It's starting to look a little bit like a flower on the end of my pencil. Um, but if you don't have a lot of duct tape, because this seems like it's going to take um, quite a few pieces to go around, um, I have another type of flower that you can make. Um, and you need about a foot or two of duct tape. So I'll show you how to do that one. Tape. This one's really easy too. Um, and the longer a piece of duct tape you have, uh, the bigger your flower will be. So I'm going to do maybe like oh, enough to, to fill up my screen. So maybe about that much. Um, but even that's that's a lot. This one and cut it down and use it. If anyone saw me through my window right now, they think I look like a crazy person. Okay. So, we're going to do a similar thing with this one. So, we're going to fold over um, a little more than halfway um, and leave some sticky left out. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And it might be easier to do this um, if you do it um, in two separate strips. Um, it'll still work the same. Oops. That should work for our purposes. Like you can see, um, I just down half the strip down and left, um, you can see the white part is the sticky part. Um, I have left some of that showing. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be in a straight line or anything. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors um, and I'm going to start cutting little strips, um, but I'm not going to cut all the way through. So I'll show, um, I'll do a couple and then I'll show you. Um, and I'm cutting on the side that isn't sticky. So it looks like this. Um, I'm just cutting like halfway through, um, not getting to the sticky part. Um, so I have, you guys can see that, I've just cut like part way down. So there's like little pieces of confetti. Um, and I'm going to do that all the way down, although that might take me a while, so I might have to make this a little shorter. Um, I'm going to cut little strips all the way down, again, not going all the way through, um, just about halfway. I see people saying LOL and doing laughing faces, but... You guys are a little delayed, so I'm not quite sure what it is <laughs> that you're laughing at, but I'm glad that I'm funny. <laughs> I think I'm going to get it a little too long. You don't have to be perfectly straight or anything either. Oh, we're making another flower. Um, I didn't say that. Maybe I didn't mention that. Um, we're making like another flower for the end of our pencil or a pen. The duct tape, duct tape likes sticking to me. I agree with that statement. I'm 
I'm not gonna go all the way down because I will be here all night. Make sure it doesn't stick to itself in the meantime. If I need more, I can use this second piece. Um, I have this long piece. Um, this all has a bunch of um, cuts in it. I'm going to take um, my pen and take the other side of my pencil that I have. Um, but you're going to want to do it on the end, not the side that you write with. I'm going to put this down. This way. So you guys can see. Just roll it. Try to stay um, in a straight line. But again, none of this has to be perfect. I feel like I said that a lot today. Crafts uh, are individualized. Uh, little mistakes give it character. And with our last couple minutes, um, if anyone knows of any other duct tape crafts um, that we didn't do today, that they've tried before, they heard of before, um, if they want to put that in the comments um, for people that want to do some more duct tape crafts um, who like what we've done today. You can't see me anymore. There we go. I'm just rolling it all the way down. Trying to keep it straight. So it kind of looks like this, and I'm just going to fluff it out, little pieces and pull them, stretch it a little bit. This one's a little small because I didn't go all the way down, um, but if I wanted to, I could um, do another piece and add that on top. But I have a little um, flower at the end of my pencil. Kind of cute. And if you had a bunch of different colors, you can make it a bunch of different colors. Um, there's a bunch of different types of patterns, duct tape. Just kind of fiddle with it, pull some pieces down. And you have like a little flower at the end of your pencil. So the longer it is, uh, the longer your piece of duct tape was, the bigger it'll be, so feel free to add more on. Um, but that is about our finished product. Um, and this one we didn't get a chance to finish, but the more petals you add, the bigger it'll get. Um, so feel free to finish doing that as well. Um, so we're coming up on 7.30, oh my goodness, it's 7.29. Um, so thank you for sticking with me uh, through this duct tape virtual patch program. Um, I really appreciate you guys all jumping on. Um, I hope you really liked it, uh, or you got some ideas um, to do some more duct tape crafts. Um, it's really fun. You don't you don't necessarily need all different colors of duct tape, um, but there's plenty um, other activities you can get um, online with duct tape. Um, so thank you guys again for hopping on. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe, um, but continuing to connect with your Girl Scout sisters. Um, it's always nice to talk to everyone on here and see your lovely comments. Um, so thank you so much. Um, feel free to contact us if you have any questions, concerns, um, customer care at gswpa.org, um, or you can call um, the number. Not right now, we're currently closed, um, but you can call our phone number 1-800-248-3355. Um, if you have any questions. Um, and I believe we'll be linking in the comments um, where you can 
like a form that you can fill out to get the patch as well. Um, but any other information will link um, in the comments or in the description. Um, but otherwise, again, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, thank you for coming to our patch program. Bye, guys.